Hello, it is Skulker Speed 2, and this is another talk video, but this time, I watched the zombies video, and I'm just thinking, how about I make glitch videos, like, gl experience with glitches that I've actually had and experienced, trust me, I've had a lot, uh, I've had some experiences, okay, I'm going to tell you a transit map glitch that I've done. I don't know how it works. Still doesn't know how it works, but it's pretty awesome. Okay, so you start out in the little place, and I know everybody hates this map, but I kind of love it. Although I never knew how to get Pack-a-Punch. Knowing how to get Pack-a-Punch now, it kind of sucks, and the Wonder Weapon sucks as well. The teddy bear easter egg is actually, it's, it fits the, um, the song fits the map perfectly. And everything else is kind of cool. But I love tr the transit map. But here is the biggest glitch ever. Hold on, let me, let me shut my door. My stepdad's playing X, Xbox One. My sister's in her room watching it. TV that she got today, um, we have about three TVs, one in my mom and stepdad's room, one in the living room, which my mom's watching, and the other one, which is my sister's. But this glitch, you start out in the beginning of the room. Now, this glitch, I had no idea how it activated. Okay, you know how you just... Okay, uh, knife the zombies, get enough money, and guess what I did? I bought the shotgun. Guess what I got? A ray gun. Now, you're probably like... But who would absolutely come up with this? I'm telling the truth, actually. This glitch has happened to me. It is a very awesome glitch. And every time I would buy it, I would have the ray gun and I would be like, wait, what? Even on an online match, I would have a ray gun. And P <laughs> there was this one person, I bought a, <laughs> I bought the shotgun and he was like, his character model was like, he just went up to the shotgun, bought it, and he had a shotgun, and he was like, he was like, what the heck? Well, I didn't hear him saying that, but he was probably like, what? How does he get a ray gun? He probably thought I was cheating or modding, but no, this was a glitch that I had no idea how it happened. So now I have enough time. Here is another glitch. Okay, Plants vs. Zombies 2. And I call this one the Infinite Everything. And, of course, the name stands out for itself. Technically, I got Infinite Everything. Diamonds, money, sometimes it would reach its limit and go to zero. I would have to get out of the game, go back in it, and the money would be there. And this glitch, I also don't know how how it happened. It happened not on this tablet, but another tablet that was so messed up. It trust me, this that game was awesome. I could literally spin a week getting nothing but cards. And what do we have? My plants leveled up to level 100. That's how bad it was. And it was cool too. Just to tell you, I don't know how I got these glitches. It randomly happened. Hmm, let me think of another glitch that I've had like before. Like... What glitches have I gotten? Those are two that I've gotten. Um. Hmm. How about I talk about some experiences? 
And just to tell you, I am a great zombie player. Used to, I used to be a chicken at zombies. I wouldn't, like, play alone. Now I'm, like, a boss at it, and I can survive to round literally fit 14 to 15 rounds in the World War II zombies. That small map with the mystery box through that door just staring at you and taunting you. Also, that very small house sucks. But me and my friends survived about 14 to 15 rounds inside of that small space. In a big map, we can survive longer by ourselves. Ugh. But together, we've actually gotten a farther distance. But... Mmm, experiences. Hmm. Okay. Here's a New Year thing that happened in 2019, the last day. I was outside, of course, and we had to go to my real dad's. <clears throat> or somewhere. I think it was Amanda's. But we had to go there and... It wasn't fun. I was wearing my UA um jacket from My Academia. And I had ripped shoes that literally got soaked. And I didn't know it was wet outside. The grass was completely wet. And when I went out there, I finally realized like an hour or maybe 30 minutes ago... That the reason why my feet felt like I was going to frostbite was because my freaking shoes were soaked. My socks. And also, it was so cold. It was, I think, 42 degrees outside. And you're probably like, oh, that's fine. When you stay out there for an hour near a fire... And I know you're probably like, oh, you stand by a fire. Okay, just to say, I have anxiety. And when you have anxiety, near people you barely even know, then you won't be stepping near a fire with them around it. But the fireworks show was actually pretty awesome. I got to enjoy some pretty cool fireworks, actually. We bought like 100 and something in fireworks. What's another... Ex I better just end this off with another experience, like... Hmm. Okay. If you know this place called Canard, then basically, I wasn't that popular. Of course, I'm not the most talkative kid in school until... Things happen. In every school, something awesome happens that involves me doing something to another kid. And I don't mean inappropriate stuff. I mean, literally whacking them with something as hard as possible. Now, here's the thing. At this canard school, I didn't have that many friends and I was actually new to the school but 13 days in well not thir but ever, ever since I came to the school this guy William would keep giving me a neck and as you know neck means this he would constantly slap my neck almost every day once a day 
And I also made friends with a teacher, plus he was my pastor. Which, trust me, this guy taught science, and he was a really cool and chill guy. We actually played, uh, oh yeah, Ships and Sailors. Ah, that game was awesome. But, it, it was pretty good. But, 12 days in, I literally got tired of it. I was literally an ag one day. He slapped my neck and we were about to leave. And my reactions and my anger was bad at this time. So, being me, I did what I would do. And that was what probably no one would have ever thought Ha would happen to this guy named William which just to be I mean hold on wait Cody wait okay um shut up Okay, um, but I picked up a Chromebook that we could always, like, we would always take it with wherever we go. So at lunch, we would actually search up, like, like, I might do story videos, like, of stuff I did. Like, just saying. But... Can we continue the story? Jesus, Cody! But... I picked up the Chromebook, and Uri was angered by how many times he would have... He slapped me in the neck. So, picked up the Chromebook, ran after him, he looked behind him, whacked his, um, head with a Chromebook, and I got beat up. And we both went to detention. And also, they did say that basically, if I would have whacked harder, I could have broke his neck. Which, I couldn't believe I could actually have that strength. But, that was... And then, me and him over time became bestest of friends. It was actually pretty cool. And then everyone started to, what do we, um, hang out with me. And you want to know something cool? They still talk about me in the school to this day. As my sister keeps telling me, people still talk about me slapping William with a Chromebook. I never knew a story with a Chromebook being whacked on top of some kid's head would be the top, would be the top thing of the students, like the news of the students. That was actually my first sign of popularity at my Hudson school right now where I live. I'm actually getting a lot of recognition and I'm starting to improve on a lot of stuff. But that is it for this story time. I'm going to do more story videos of things I've done because I want to do that. Trust me, I'm going to do a lot of stuff. As you know, I'm going to do a lot of stuff. I'm going to tell stories. I'm going to play video games. I'm going to talk to you about stuff. I'm going to talk to you about anime is what I think. Why I love them. Blah, blah, blah. Basically. And. I know. And there is a lot of events that I have. Which is basically, um, 
I'm setting up a crew and my Discord is on one of the videos. You can go check that out. You can go check that video out. I don't remember what video it was. But in other words, just check it out. Or maybe that video was... Huh. I swear, if that video was actually cancelled and that was the one that I messed up on, then I'm gonna really have a bad time. Oh, and I also don't want to get copied. I realize that basically they're going for the bigger um, people with literally a thou uh, 1,000 um, watch time. I watched a YouTube video. And uh, so people, though, you don't have to be worried. If you're not big, then they're not going after you. But if your uh, content is targeted to kids, and you have like a thousand watch time and like, I think 1,000 subscribers, then they probably will be going after you. Trust me, as you've seen, sometimes my content isn't for kids. Like, I really don't want to get copied, so I'm trying to make it as, like, as non-weird or gross as possible. I mean, if you were my best friend and playing with me on a video game online, then I would act so weird around you. That's why I'm trying to get my friend Elijah on here, because me and him would say and do some weird stuff on some video games. Besides, I got oh I gotta still search up if Goose Crusher fourteen if he if Goose Crusher fourteen is a YouTube channel, go check it out. He's my best friend. Skull Crusher P two out.